there, my name's Ashley from A Cakes and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be making a pink bunny cake topper. So I've coloured some pink icing here. Um, you can use um, modelling paste, so there's Renshaw modelling paste. Um, today I've actually used what I had open, so I used couture sugar paste and I've mixed in a little bit of white florist paste. So this is the stuff we make flowers from, so it helps it go a little bit set harder. So I'm going to weigh it as I go along so you know, I don't normally do that. So roughly we're going to start off with about 75 grams for the body. So you want to knead it and get out all the little, little imperfections, make sure it's really pliable. So when you're rolling it, make sure there's no lines. It's a bit harder when there's uh, when it's modelling paste or florist paste. So for the body, you want to ro firstly roll it into a ball and then slightly roll it into like an egg or a cone shape. So just putting pressure on one side till you're happy with it. And then that will be the body. A bit longer. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just use the stitch tool and stitch up the front and the back. It just gives it a little bit more detail. Okay, we'll set the body there. So next is the legs. So for the legs and the arms, you kind of want to do two at the same time. So take a little bit, just guess. And you want to, again, roll it into a ball and then go to a sausage. So you're just flattening the ball off so it's more of a sausage. And for these little figures, you want them to have like maybe bigger heads, bigger feet, because they tend to look a bit cuter. So I'm rolling it out more in the middle. I'm thinning out the middle more so than the ends. And use a knife and just cut that in half. Okay, so you've got two legs and they're both the same. It's harder to make one and then make the other one look the same. So, Again, it's just guessing, whatever you want. So I'm just going to try and sort of square off the foot. And then the ankle will make a bit thinner. So I don't want that too chunky. Until you're happy with it. And with the arms and legs, you kind of want to cut them at an angle so you can attach them to the body. So I'm going to cut it at like a 45 degree angle that way. And then... So this cut bends around the body. You might need to cut it a few times until you get the bit you're happy with. Okay, and I'm just going to attach that with a, a damp paintbrush. Or Evo Blue if you do have it. So you're just pushing that bend. Same with the other one, flatten off the foot. Play around with it until you're happy with that. And you kind of want it to be the same, the same size. And then cut it at an angle. Opposite angle that you've done the last one. And make sure they're the same size. And then again, just attach the end with a damp paintbrush or some maple glue. So with figures, I always work from the bottom up. Because you need your sort of firm base. So again, little tail on the end, just a tiny little ball. And attach at the back. Okay. So you can do different things with the feet. So I've used a bone tool here. You can sort of, you know, give it a little bit, a little indent here. You can use a ball tool, use your finger, whatever you have. Okay. I've got a Dresden tool here, but you can just use a cocktail stick or a finger. Just make little indents for the feet. Okay. So next, the arms, do that the same way as the legs. So you're doing two at once. Take off again 
whatever you think two arms are going to be like. So I've just pulled off 15 grams. So bobble again, flatten into a sausage and then roll it out. So for the bunny arms, I'm just going to keep them roughly the same all the way, roughly the same thickness. Half it. And again, it's just judging. So I like to look what it's going to look like first, get your get it half with what you're happy with and then attach it. That might sound like common sense, but it helps. <laughs> so I'm just going to thin off the bottom bit a little touch. And I think I'll cut it about there. So slight wee angle. You don't want it to have big chunky shoulders, so I'm just going to thin it at the top. And it might take some fiddling about with until you're happy with the way it is. So I'm going to pop it about there, just squash it in a little bit. Okay, same with the other one. Same, th same thickness. You can roughly measure it. See when you're happy with it, and then attach. Okay. Again, I'll just use a Dresden tool and make a couple of little indents for the paws. And it's those little details that help make it look really cute. So if you're only using icing, if you only had sugar paste icing at home, I would stop at this point and leave overnight to set before you put the head and the ears on because the weight of that will squash down the body. But if you've used a little bit of flour paste or modelling paste to help um, it keep its shape, then we can go ahead and put a little bit of structure in it. So I use, this is 20 gauge wire. If you don't have 20 gauge wire at home, you can use a bit of dried pasta. So a bit of dried spaghetti. So again, we're just measuring. I usually put it into the cake a little bit and then you want enough for the head. But I think I'm just going to stop there. So cut it about there. And you just insert that into the top. So you're leaving it enough to support the head so the head doesn't flop about. So for the head, roughly, I'm going to get about, say, 35 grams. Nearly. Again, you can just gauge it. Right, so we need to all get rid of all the little imperfections. And you'll find like it's so much more pliable than just icing. So it's a bit more stretchy with the modelling and flower piece in it. So roll it into ball, bits of all the little lines. So you see that's quite perfect. Right, so for this, for the head, I'm just going to roll it into like a cone. So a slight cone. So I'm just going to sort of, this is going to be the nose, so I'm just going to pull, that's sticky, pull the nose down a wee touch. So it's got a little point for the nose, and that's all it needs. Okay, push that in a tiny bit. You don't want the wire coming out the top of its head. Okay, just make sure you're happy with the size of it, and then attach it with a wee bit of Water edible glue. Okay, so for the a little bit of the sort of smile on his face, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a line up the way, and then two little. I'm gonna do it with a sharp knife. You can use a little knife. A little V. You see that? Okay. And then I've coloured a little bit of slightly darker pink. We're just going to use a tiny little bit of that for the nose. So again, measure it, see what you're happy with. Roll it into a ball. And we try and want to like, trying to get a triangle. It's a bit sticky. So pinch one end, flatten off one end. Okay. 
then the tiniest little bit of water or glue will hold that to the nose. Okay. Um, so next is the ears. So I've got a few cutters for the ears. If you don't have cutters, I would just um, you know use what you have or cut it out. So I've got some, I think these are from some different flower ones. So some corn flour on your work area and roll it. And you want the ears to be pretty thin. When you're rolling it anything, you want to make sure it's not sticking to the worktop. Keep moving it every couple of rolls. I'm quite happy with that. Right, so cut out two of these and again you want the ears to be the same as much as you can. So just measure, I know they look long but it's a little cartoon bunny and it looks quite cute. So I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of um, water or glue at the top here and then I'm just going to like pinch it to be unhappy with, so it sort of sticks together. Just so it's, I've got a flat surface to stick it to. I might just trim off the end. Then we attach them, I think you, you might be better attaching them at a few different points, so to check. So I'm gonna to need to attach it here, and then maybe an arm, just so it's got some support. So I'll just check first, so there, and like the edge of the arm. So there, and the arm. Oh, that's my dog going crazy. And just pull that in. There we go. Okay, so same in the next one. A little bit of edible glue in there. Fold it in. And attach it there and the arm. Just trim off this a little bit. Then. Right, so we have two big floppy ears. And just play around with them until you're happy with them. You can push them up and down. So at this point we need to give it a little bit of more detail. So what you can do with the ears, I'm going to get a little bit, this is the Sugar Flare Luster Luster dust, that's just some shimmer pink, so we just need a tiny little bit of this. And I'm just going to dust the inside of the ears. A little bit more. And just to give it a little bit more detail. It's not in the vein here. Okay, so got a little bit more detail in the ears, you can do it a bit neater than that. So for the eyes, what I like to do is I just use an edible pen. So it's just an edible black pen. You can leave it to dry a bit more or you can just crack one. I'm just going to do it now. So I use a thicker side. It's got a thick side and a thin side. I use the thick side. Just do a little, little eye. Just a little eye. Okay. And then with the thin side, I like to give all the, the female characters little eyelashes. So a tiny little, little bit. For the eyelashes. You can also use the dust and give her some little little nosy cheeks. Get rid of the 
existence. <laughs> okay. Just all the little details. So to cover up the joint, oh, that's moving a little bit. Maybe you should just keep filling the stuff until they, it dries out. Try and get a little mold for the, the top. There we go. So I've got a tiny little bit of white here I'm going to use. And I'm just going to just put it in a little bit mold and I've made a little bow. just hide some of the joins of the ears so I'll just attach that over here okay so there we have it a simple little bunny topper okay and you can make it different sizes and shapes and details you can make it with pointed ears and yeah, make your own twist on it. Okay, thank you.